So these last few months, a lot of my friends have been contacting me and just asking me like, hey, what website do you use? What travel agent do you go through? Which company do you use to get these really good deals on these flights? So the reality is that I don't use a specific company. Um, I'm basically my own travel agent. And it's pretty simple to be your own travel agent. You just have to put in the time um, to want to do it. So I'm going to give you some tips right now so that you can also be your own travel agent and get these killer deals that I've been getting. Okay, so this is the way you start. Go to your search engine. I use Safari. And then type in google.com and go to Google Flights. So once you're on Google Flights, then you want to select your departing airport. Ontario is the closest one to me, but I don't use it because it's just way more expensive. Um, so yeah, that's a tip. If the airport is smaller, it's going to be more expensive. And you just have to outweigh your options. If you're willing to pay a little bit more just because it's closer to you, then that's fine. But I'm usually not. So... I use Las Vegas a lot, so I'll just use that as an example. So I select my departing airport, and then for example, um, New York. Let's just pretend we want to go to the East Coast. So we choose our departing airport, our arrival airport, round trip, one passenger, economy, and then this is where Google Flights is the best um, because it is a search engine. You get to pick on your little pick the little map icon or the little calendar icon, and you just really get to play around with the dates. So, for example, uh, it's the 18th today. If I wanted to go to New York this weekend, it would cost me $288. But if I wait until the following weekend, the weekend of the 28th, it'll cost me $157. So say I was thinking of going in April. I can go in April, Wednesday, April 3rd for $245, where I can wait until that weekend and get a round trip ticket for $150. let us try an international flight. When I do international travel, I like to leave out of Los Angeles just because it's a big international airport, and I usually get better deals from there. So let's pick Paris, the city of love. Le Paris, Le Paris. Paris. Voila. Paris, April 5th, $606. So let's just say that's not my budget, right? I talked about budgets in the last video. Let's say for me to stay within my budget, I need to find a flight that's $400 or cheaper. So because this is a search engine, I'm just going to open up the maps. And I'm seeing here, okay, April 5th, $606. April 9th, $467. 29th, it's $462. And if I don't have to to stay with the April date, I can look a little bit further. Ah, May 5th, $432. I'm liking that, closer to my budget. Let's look some more. June, they start getting more expensive just because those are the holidays, $735, over $1,000. So it looks like my best bet is to go the week of May fit and do a $432 ticket. So I'm going to select that. For Paris, I would suggest two weeks just because um, it's a long travel, it's a long flight. You want to make it worth it. Then I hit done. Et voila! My options for Le Paris. Norwegian Airline. My departure time, my arrival time, how long the flight's going to be nonstop, and the I cost. And of course, Google Flights, it is a search engine, so it just gives me other options that may be available. So I'm going to go with this one. And then on the way back, it does let me know it's separate tickets, even though it's the same airline. So I'm going to have to make two different transactions. But see, it lets me know right up front. 
So I know what I'm getting myself into. And I just select that option. And then it lets me know. Book with Norwegian here for 432. Book with Norwegian. Oh, see, book with Norwegian separate tickets, it's 432. Book with Norwegian one ticket, it's 480. Book with the Speedio Visit site for price. So this is not a big difference, but it's enough for me to just do the two separate transactions, to be honest, because I want to stay as close to my budget as possible. So I'm just going to hit select here. And then I visit this site, I book, then I visit this site and I book. And what's also really nice is that see, it tells you right off the bat, total price includes, includes taxes and fees. That's also really nice about Google search engine. It usually includes all of these additional fees. And if it doesn't, it lets you know, and then it gives you a breakdown about how much those prices and fees are, so you can just do the math ahead of time. Also, because it is a search engine, you can hide things. Hide separate tickets, say you don't wanna deal with that. So let's hide them, and then it won't even give you that option. The same with um, layovers. If you don't wanna do a layover, you just select that option. For, ex for example, here, stops non-stop only gives me that option airlines you want to get more specific you have a favorite airline you can get more specific bags you want to make sure that it allows carry-on bags with you you can get that specific again google flights is a search engine it's not a travel site that's trying to sell you something per se um, which is what's so nice about it it's just really generating options that then you can use to choose from so in this case, I like this option. Um, I like it a lot. And if I didn't have to go to work, or really, if I didn't have a family quinceañera going on this weekend, I might just be going to Le Paris on May 5th. But just because I can't doesn't mean that you can't. So check it out. Go to Google Flights and book yourself that flight. Au revoir.